What's the? Uh, this is Cody Made Easy coming to you with your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the priority queue. So we've already learned about uh, um, a lot of different container types in the C++ library, and we've already learned about queues, right? But uh, with the priority queue, it is uh, it's handled a bit differently. Uh, so we learned that in our queue uh, that it's in a first in first out basis so whatever you put in first is what's gonna come out first much like if you're like in a line or, or waiting for let's say you're in a line waiting for a roller coaster or something if you're the first one into uh, first on the line then you're the first one onto the ride and that's essentially how queues work but with priority queues uh they work differently in that you can put them in any order but the priority queue will spit out the greatest number first or the greatest value first and uh so we'll organize it we'll sort it and put it in the greatest value first and the lesser value last and uh, a lot of people might not see the point to doing this but there's a lot of advantages let's say for example you're making an rpg game and uh, it's a turn-based battle system or something or or it's a active battle system or whatever what you could do is uh, put all the uh, all the players or whatever in the priority queue and whoever has the highest speed it will organize it in um, in the queue and whoever has the highest speed will attack first and so on and so forth uh, there's a lot of different methods that you can use but uh, yeah so instead of me explaining it I'll, I'll show it to you so it's part of the STD uh, namespace and we're including Q right here so what we're gonna do is say STD uh, priority underscore Q now it works the same as a regular Q we put a type in there we can name it whatever we want now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say Q dot push and we should know what that does so it adds a value to it so what I will say is I'll add in 10 and we'll say Q push and we'll add in 40 and then we'll say Q push and we'll put in 5 so what should happen is that it should reorganize uh, it and it should put this at the top of the queue this should be the second value that comes up and this should be the last value so what we're gonna do is just make a simple for loop uh, loops three times and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a call to C out Q dot top and we're gonna call Q dot pop so to take it off the top of the the queue and we're just gonna run this program to see just to show you I'm not lying and as you can see it shows the higher value and sorry for that but uh, as we can see we can see the higher the highest value um second highest value and the um the lowest value last so the priority queue can uh, be very valuable in certain situations and uh, so that's gonna be it for tutorials relatively simple um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to comment below uh, what I'm going to be doing for the for the rest of the tutorials or for the tutorials coming up is that I'm going to be um, teaching you about every single type of container and then in the tutorial after I teach you the last container, I'm going to be teaching you when's the best time and when's the worst time to use a certain container class. So that's it in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye.